Ah, hello friends. You know what, that archer is going to be a pain in the rear. I guess I can kind of stand here and just uh, slowly but surely will you from the fire. That does indeed work. Oh, kind of. Never mind. Hello, friend. Perfect. Ooh, some intelligence actually will help out a great deal in getting uh, some of those spells castable that we've had on the back burner here. And you know what, the rest of you... Vault Sons and Guns can probably just hang out. In fact, let's uh, just say nay for the moment here. We'll definitely come back at some point in the future, but we're not in a big rush one way or another. I think we'll be okay. And again, probably... Oh, I was wrong about the order. The two stack was Amnesia. I'm guessing the other one is going to be uh, Vulnerability, but who's to say? Maybe we'll, we'll be a bit surprised here. Wouldn't that be a, a fun little change of pace? And we will just mochi ya with some blasts here. Hello, my slimy friend. Not too shabby. Let's actually just destroy you while we're given the opportunity. And that should be perfect. Our Phantom Mirror also charged up, so we have that available in case we run across any sketchy encounters. I mean, this is a sketchy encounter, but not one that warrants a Phantom Mirror at the very least. Instead, we'll just blast you like one does and see how it all goes down. Do, do, do. No, we still can just head directly downwards here. I would like to kill this one more buddy. Oh gosh, hello slime. You were not part of my calculations here, but that's fine. And blast y'all. And then, give me a moment, blast y'all again. Perfect. Man, again, this is our life now. Bringing back the, the old pillar dancing days. For better and for worse. There we go, finally get rid of the slime so we can start hitting our, our main squeeze once again here. Hello my skeletal buddy old pal. Let's make sure that I blast you in such a way that I, I do get blasted out and so take advantage of, uh, of the strategy that we've come up with here. So I immediately accidentally blast myself towards a, a dead corner so never mind. Scratch everything I was just Ber oh jeez, brain shut down there. <laughs> Berating wasn't the right word, so I just... <laughs> escape, escape, <laughs> emergency. Gonna say the wrong word. How embarrassing would that be? Uh, belaboring the point, I think, is what I was going for here. There we go. At least take care of one more of you sons of guns. Oh, and I did not realize that we'd still have some more... Uh, new friends so we will just teleport out after all of that nonsense and in fact if we can just get you all to gather around come one come all come and see the the fire show fireworks as it were and that is wonderful let's see fireball does deal quite a bit more damage to you so as long as we're able to do so Again, the noise, though, as we can see by the immediate attention that we garner from our deceased friends, old pals. But that is a-okay. We just blast you, we blast you. We make some foolish decisions, and we don't really blast you when we want to. And one more. Damn. Not quite enough, but hey, you get the point by now. We rinse and repeat. This is our life, and there we go. We're able to take care of our, our good old pal, and that is everything in D14 for the moment, besides the, the vault entrance that we currently have marked off. Do I wish to continue here, or do I just head to one of my S branches? We have Snake and Shoals, of course. Hmm... Shoals, probably not terrible. As long as we can get a lot of damage output out there, then we're steaming merfolk left and right, which 
is just a delicacy as far as Bogir is concerned here. So maybe we'd be okay in Shoals. I'm worried about the damage output still, both Snake and Shoals. I mean, our defenses are obviously just kind of trash, as is to be expected on the, the majority of your Ogre characters. Hmm. I guess at some point we're gonna have to make the leap, but not yet. Hello, Nessos. I will immediately leave you. Goodbye, Nessos. See if we can't come at this from a slightly different uh, approach, shall we? I do hate Melii. I guess Fireball is probably the easiest way to blast you. Perfect. And in fact, let's just uh, let some of our friends come up close and personal. Do, do, do. Yeah, do you want? I can just murder you both in one fell swoop here. That works out for me. And then we'll just bring our, our work buddy upstairs to dispatch in due course here. Can just slow things down. Take it easy as I accidentally read silence. Oh no. I was trying to just rapidly hit my hotkey for a cast and. Uh, and go through. That's cool. Um, ooh, the sorcerer does approach us first like an absolute fool. So, does all work out in the long run, but whoops. I didn't need that silence for anything else anyway. Perfect usage as far as I'm concerned. Definitely not at all worried for the, the future and what it may or may not entail. So that's, that's lovely, really. No matter how you look at it. It just works. Ah, two guardian serpents. Well, let's definitely blast you kiddos instantaneously, because that is not my bag, baby. And then we should be able to take care of some vampire mosquitoes without too much of a, a concern here. We did pick up that identify scroll, so these five are going to be vulnerability. They are indeed vulnerability, so no acquirement quite yet. Looking forward to when we finally get our hands on that Rupert with a distortion weapon interesting hey railbird how's it going I was actually just thinking about you recently how have you played much in the the latest version point through uh, point 30 and if so what are your thoughts on the the environmentalist changes because i know that you were a pretty big fan of conjure flame and you could use it very effectively so what are your thoughts on blast mode i've definitely been uh i don't know should i hold my opinion so i don't bias <laughs> whatever you may say or i'm i think regardless you'll have a better informed opinion than i possibly could but i mean on my end it's definitely pretty enjoyable i especially on a genie you can stack them up I know, again, not super relevant for your end with your human fire elementalists, but Genie, you can kind of just spam the ever-loving crap out of it as you run away, and nothing can ever catch you. So it seems pretty sweet. But I guess compared to Conjure Flame, uh, do you like it more or less, about the same? Do you just not have that strong of an opinion? What are your thoughts? Also, of course, as always, never any pressure to, uh, to type it all out, especially if... Uh, you you have a lot of thoughts on it, and I know that it can be a, a bit of an imposition, I guess. Also, just looking at the the time here, I should quickly send a message to my partner. Did you feed the doggo? Yeah, you're against the removal of Conjure Flame. You can imagine a fire elementalist unable to create a flame column feels off to you. Just unacceptable, really. <laughs> they should definitely get their, their fire elementalist license revoked. Be tend to roll the changes. Fair enough. I'm in a similar boat. I mean, generally I like most of the changes, but even if I don't, yeah, it's just part of it. It's all part and parcel with the package. And we we live and let learn. And usually not too uh, too big of a deal at the end of the day. Okay, let's get some steamed manticore, a much rarer dish than I'm used to. 
Oh, and here we go. Finally get the sea snake. So this is what we were slightly concerned about just because I don't actively have my poison resistance on at any given moment. So far though, um, you know, confirmation bias and just getting lucky uh, works pretty well and we just don't get poisoned. So it's that easy, folks. Just don't get poisoned. Just roll well, in fact. But as we can see, the uh, the steam damage doing just wonders against the majority uh, majority of the the merfolk, of course, as expected. So that is just lovely. Hello, my turtle friend. Um, not loving where this is at, especially since normally we can kind of walk away from you, but unfortunately, when we're in the uh, the water, that's no longer the case. I'm also getting more and more desperate for getting some invocation training so we have access to at least the ability to channel magic. But that is fine. I guess our spell failure rates are all looking pretty solid now. I think largely due to our shield training. I think as an ogre, we don't have to train shields quite as high to get either the, the kite shield or the tower shield up and running just because of our large size. So potentially we're already at a good point there. And in fact, maybe we cap it off at 11. If not, maybe should have just turned it off now. Uh, regardless, dragon form is at 16%. That is very, very castable. Let's see, can I blow your mind, my friend? How much damage do you do? 30? So you're saying, I just need to blow your mind one more time. Perfect. Never doubt in my mind, of course. Never didn't have it. So that is fantastic. And then I think we will earn dragon form. Only leaves us with three spell points left. But that's not the end of the world. And we can still train that up a little bit. Though generally being in the 10 to 20% failure rate is solid enough for transmutation spell. We will, however, need some unarmed combat, probably some fighting too while we're at it, so let's just train up these bad boys. In fact, transitation and shields can both take back burner now, and that should work out for us. Oh gosh, at the risk of too many skills, I'm also looking at invocations and like, ah, oh, I could use some invocations, that sounds nice. Invocation sounds a little bit of here. You feel the early game is much tougher without Conjure Flame, your early game strategies relied on it a lot. You find your build having to put off a lot more uh, encounters against early uniques between d1 and d10 interesting because yeah i feel like to me it's almost the opposite but it's because i was never that great at the conjure flame strategies i kind of constantly found myself not giving enough room to actually make it usable um and it was just during I forget one of the species that I know you were alongside us and giving a lot of great tips for how you can use like corner tiles to do fancy things to uh, trick enemies into walking on your flame. But yeah, I, I found that with blast motes, what I really like to do is stack them up double like this as enemies approach, because then usually, you know, if they're nearby, so they're like here now, I step, they step into here, they blast, take damage, that ignites this, blasts, and then the concussive force pushes us away from each other. So I almost view blast mites as like a blend between IMB and Conjure Flame, um, or IMB and Fulminant Prism actually is probably more accurate since I use it a lot like Fulminant Prism as a landmine as I run away. Uh, but of course you do end up taking a lot of damage from yourself, which is not always ideal. And again, it's uh, very much just largely due to the fact that I was always just absolute trash at uh, effectively using Conjure Flame. And I think this one is a bit more straightforward for my, uh, my caveman brain here. <laughs> but okie dokie. I guess let's actually pop up and change into a dragon. I go up to 20 AC, so we gain quite a bit of armor class, actually. Health looking beautiful at 204. Of course, we do have this cold vulnerability, which is not grand. Maybe I'll run up and grab a cold resist ring, just in case. 
we want to rely a little heavier. Oh jeez, hiccup, soul sun. Uh, in case we want to rely a little heavier on the dragon form here, we of course lose our willpower as well, so let's be careful not to get uh, unfortunately mesmerized, as the kids say. I'm also seeing our money is looking pretty good now, so we could swap into something. We no longer need these, so actually let's delete the fire dragon scales from here. Actually, book of dragon we also don't need, so we'll just empty our whole shopping list. Perfect. <laughs> and can definitely start IDing some of our potions here. Uh, get some additional tools under our belt. And... Yeah, do you want unarmed combat still a ways off? Our base damage is 65, which is pretty wild. But if we can increase that uh, base damage, especially with our high strength, this multiplicative factor is going to be huge. So that is fantastic. As mentioned, though, let's do our quick search for the, the ring of ice that we left behind earlier. Run up and grab this bad boy. Keep on keeping on. Please and thank you, Fogir. Appreciate it, my friend. And then we can head right back to the lovely shoals here and see how the rest of the area goes. Hopefully not too, too bad. I'm worried about javelins. <laughs> As is always the case, not too much of a shock there, really. But yeah, you tend to cast Volatile Blast Motes early, the moment a monster comes into line of sight. You find if it takes more than three to kill them, then you tend to find a different way to kill it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, they deal a decent amount of damage, but I would definitely agree to that, where if it doesn't immediately take, uh, or have good effects, then I'll usually just, uh, walk away or come up with a different strategy of action. I use it largely for the utility so far and just getting that uh, that blast effect to just push enemies away. Or more common than that is probably me just pushing myself away, to be fair. Just taking the hit in order to... Uh... Oh, Mesmerize went through, really? 3% chance. I mean, I can't even be mad. That's just commendable, my friend. Holy moly. And what did we get from the recent book here? Dazzling Flash and Starburst, neither of which is too, too incredible. Starburst, I guess, could lean further into what we've got going for ourselves here. The Firebrand, but not ideal. And what can I drop? I guess Torment Scrolls will always be bad because I have such a high HP pool. Chances are that it hurts me more than it... Uh, hinders any of our enemies so with that in mind let's just get rid of that bad boy again probably don't need anything here except book of the warp has manifold assault it does have manifold assault i don't think i have the patience if so i will just buy myself a book for once beautiful then let's actually let's cap Transmutation at 15. That should be good enough temporarily here. Um, that it was ended up just being a book of a warp as soon as we spent money for one. That would have been whimsically unfair, but does not end up being the case here. Perfect. Yeah, being able to use Blast Mode to create space is a good escape and evade tactics when stairs are nearby. Yeah, I was just mentioning a bit ago that I feel like the one kind of potential downside to Blast Motes is it does bring me back into the uh, the old pillar dancing mode <laughs> because you can always create space, so you can always pillar dance, <laughs> um, which definitely is never my favorite feeling, always is a bit on the, the monotonous side, so I try to avoid it for the most part, though I won't avoid it at the expense of our, our lovely ogre here, so we have ended up leaning on it as a strategy quite a few times over the course of this run so far, just to keep ourselves in one piece, but such is life, I guess. And yeah, as expected, the fire magic doing just absolute wonders so far. Here in Shoals, always a fun, fun approach, especially since Shoals can oftentimes be such a a painful section of the game to get through. It can be nice sometimes to just get the uh, the freebies. 
Um, and so let's actually just irradiate to murder you in cold blood, my uh, shark friend. And otherwise, we can just let our, our fawn buddy come right this way. And that should just about do the trick. Perfect. Not too much of the floor left to go here. It's funny because we, of course, don't have flying, which is generally a disadvantage in shoals. But it feels great to me because I no longer have to constantly prevent myself from exploring directly into deep water and putting ourselves at the mercy of each and every kraken that could potentially be waiting in the, the depths there. So I can't really complain too, too much, even though it's technically a disadvantage to not have that available to us. Okay, the transmutation's so close to that 15 cap that we set on it. As soon as it hits there, I mean, I'm still all over the place. I really want invocations, but I now really want translocations, because if I can get Manifold Assault up and running, it lends itself a bit more towards starting the, uh, the Dragon Form shenanigans sooner rather than later. So we'll see. Maybe... Okay, so yeah, without flight, definitely not working out well for us there as we immediately hit a dead end. Um, but yeah, maybe by the time we end Shoals 3 here, we'll be in a half decent spot to at least reconfigure, rethink our, our strategy moving forward, something like that. As for you, Polyphemus, to what do I wish to do with a you? 152 health, my friend. Definitely no, uh, no laughing matter. I could just start blasting, I guess, and see how that goes. I don't want all three of you next to me, though, especially if Cataclos blows smoke and these two step next to me. That's a bad combination. However, I could try and hit one more fireball here. <laughs> uh, there are two wolves inside of me, and both of them are trying to get me killed. Oh, mesmerize. Right. Wait a second, did that again? These three percents have got to stop being successful. <laughs> Just any day now, please and thank you, I'd appreciate it. Um, I do have a decent amount of fog, so maybe I just fog up. Then I can take three big boys upstairs. Okay. 4% chance of failing to radiate means I'm not going to risk it, even though my gut instinct was to just throw an irradiate out here and enjoy the, the chaos that we get from that. Instead, we will back the heck up. <laughs> Play it a little bit on the safe side. And beautiful. Let's actually head to an unexplored down stairwell, if all possible. Okay. It's right next to Explored One. Gosh, that's so much damage. 30 and 45. You know, it does make sense. Um, you could also throw rocks at me, which I don't love. So I think with that in mind, we probably need to blink to here and then hope that our teleport does not put us right back into the fire. Perfect. <laughs> Never doubt in my mind, of course, but we now have Polyphemus wandering around a level pretty much on their own. There's, of course, our snapping turtle friend as well. That's probably not the end of the world. Hopefully they separate from each other just slightly. Ow, that hurts. You know what? Fight fire with fire, I think. Gives us a nice amount of health. Should have good damage. If you want to just step right this way, my friend. And beautiful. We do manage to out damage our, our good old friend here. We'll probably keep exploring and try and find this turtle so that we don't, you know, try and walk away from encounter just to find ourselves deep in the, uh, 
the jailhouse here. Perfect. And what else is waiting for us? Aquamancer, a bunch of baloney. Let's actually head back to not that stairwell, but the other one, please and thank you. There's the ticket. Uh, we'll also do a quick control U to undo our forgetfulness on that floor. Holy. Barbara, okay. Uh, we have good resistances at least, so that's kind of nice, especially since we can put up all these steam clouds to prevent those sons of guns from ruining our day, but still taking a little more damage than I would care to see. Oh gosh, do I risk it? I think we do. Yeah, one more flame wave should kill most of the fawns, if not all of them. Oh, you know, I didn't see the one hanging out there at the top left, so never mind. Oh, and our willpower stripped away. Maybe that happened during one of the uh, the mesmerized debacles earlier, because I don't see the three... Actually, <laughs> immediately doubting what I was just stating there, because I did check the mesmerized check, or mesmerized chance, rather, right after it happened. And it was still sitting at 3%, so you know, I'm back to just <laughs> thinking the whole world is against me, I guess, is what it all boils down to. What else could it possibly be? Regardless, we'll, we'll shove it to them, we'll make them all see, and we'll make it out of here in one piece. At least that is the plan. Definitely head upstairs before the stairway gets flooded by our, our water nymph friend here. And holy moly, slowly but surely, we're working our way through the crowds here. Can definitely reset over to this stairwell um, because it's a little bit more uh, available here, not completely surrounded by all of our new friends. Ooh, and a wand of acid I would definitely like. A wand of flame, I guess I normally carry around four shoals specifically. But when we're slinging fire ourselves, probably not quite as necessary or quite as advantageous as it usually is. So let's just leave that bad boy. And we'll go dragon form once again against you, my friend. Being put to sleep is very unfortunate for sure, but not the end of the world. Oh, <laughs> hi, Susan, as I like to call you. Um, gosh darn it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we used up that silence roll by accident earlier because I could potentially see a world in which I just, like, haste might turn myself into a dragon, silence this son of a gun, and just get duking it out, you know? As is, not ideal. Especially since they have abjuration, it means that I can't rely quite as heavily on like Phantom Mirror to level the playing field. Oh, what do I do with you, by Susan? What a terrible bit of timing. Hmm. Probably still not the end of the world. We might be able to brute force our way past Shoals 3 and just keep heading downwards. Um, do run the risk of walking up a stairwell to escape from harm directly into the welcoming embrace of, you know, a half dozen hydras or so, but such is life. These things happen. Hmm. Should also maybe just while we have a small bit of downtime here. Let's check out Manifold Assault down to 58% without any translocation training. Probably won't be too too long to get that up and running. We at least have enough spell levels to immediately bring it into the fold as well. Especially, yeah, there we go. We've hit shields and transmutations, which is perfect. So let's bring on translocations. At least a six. We'll probably want to train more at some point down the road, but that's a good start. And invocations is the other one that we just want to put on the, the back burner here and slowly increment so that we can at least get channel magic and eventually divine next Jesus up and running. So we <laughs> contaminate ourselves. Whoopsie daisies. Let's try that again. There we go. Second time is the charm. 
Maybe by Susan didn't... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hello there. Just talking about you, my friend. We have electricity resistance, though we don't when we're in dragon form, now that I think about it. So, I just don't want to take this fight. We do, though, have dragon form, which I didn't quite uh, internalize that that also gives us access to flight, which means we could actually use this stairwell and potentially make it in somewhere, uh, somewhere else on the level here. Oh, me oh my. I probably just want to kill you. I don't think I can, but boy do I want to. I have five teleports, so I can at least teleport out of here if things go horribly wrong. I was going to say six blinks, but right, I'm down to five blinks, because we did have to use one after coming up the stairs with Polyphemus. Um, de dum what to do with you? I guess we could just chug resistance and just go for the let's duke it out strategy. Hydras are going to be a problem because I don't have the AC to really deal with them. But we do deal base damage 76. Which is, you know, if you just roll well, what could possibly go wrong? The Hydras do start to appear. I probably shouldn't have resistance... Resistance? Duh? <laughs> probably shouldn't have used a resistance potion quite that early. I think we jumped the gun just a smidge. But let's get some steam going on here. Some steamed Susan. And with that, start slapping you. Bit of... Uh, do, do, do what's it called irradiate to kind of supplement our uh, abilities here and then just slap you a couple times beautiful get me the heck out of dodge i don't have the willpower when in dragon form 